on. Come on. An English setter pup named Chief is amped up. Oh, it's Today's my birthday, and Chief was my birthday present. <laughs> He's extremely energetic and stubborn, and he's just part of our family now. He's gotten himself into a bit of trouble. This morning, Chief tore apart the TV remote, and there was only one battery left when I found it. A chewed battery could leak acid, burning Chief's GI tract. He didn't vomit it back up, and we kept looking and kept looking and couldn't find it. So we were really worried about him. We come right into room one. Like puppies always do, they start chewing on things. Kids will take things apart. Dogs, and especially puppies, will chew on things to find out what's inside. Is he wound up? He is. <laughs> Usually is. When? This morning. I can't find it anywhere. I can't feel anything, then we should be able to take an x-ray and find it. Okay. And I think that's what you're going to do. Okay. She said it was a double-A battery. That is quite big for a little dog to swallow. But we should just take an x-ray and see if there's a battery inside. A simple task. If Chief would only cooperate. Come on, you can do steps. There you go. Good job. I hope that I'm wrong and he's not eating a battery. I don't really know what they have to do if he gets one stuck in there. Nothing. That's what I thought. No battery. Chief was pretty smart. He left him alone. You're just okay. a naturally energized Fantastic. Pup. Good job. Oh, good boy. <laughs> no battery. It'll be someplace. Someplace else. Excellent. Next time, control up. Yes. Today for my birthday, I found out my dog did not eat a battery. We will be more careful, because that's the second time he's got the TV remote. And no, I can't blame it on my husband. It's all me.